went on a luxury dream vacation to Bali. Only problem is I was actually at Ikea the entire time. I hope you guys don't mind. We're doing a little photo shoot right now. And today I'm pranking my Instagram followers to see if they'll believe that I'm actually on this influencer vacation. What's up guys, it's your girl NT here and that stands for Natalia Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post. I upload a new video every Monday and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it. Ah yes, Indonesia, a gorgeous getaway full of tropical paradise and exotic photo opportunities. The perfect place to totally fake an influencer vacation and lie to all of my followers. Well, that escalated quickly. It's been said that life on the internet isn't always what it seems, especially in today's day and age where it's so easy to pretend to be anyone you want to be. And today I am putting that to the test to see if I can fake an entire vacation by posting false photos and Instagram stories. The point of this video is to see if you really can fake it till you make it. So many influencers nowadays have actually been caught in the act of pretending to be at a destination when they really weren't and it's just either Photoshop or it's not even them. So today I'm going to test my followers and see if y'all are going to fall for it. Don't believe everything you see on the gram. Now I'm not sure how much a vacation to Bali would cost me, but I live right down the road from the Swedish furniture heaven and it costs me zero dollars to hike myself in there. The Ikea shopping experience is really unique because as you're walking through the store, they have little fake rooms set up as displays where you can walk into the room and actually shop as if you're in a real house. Now, I don't know if you guys ever got this idea, but ever since I went into an Ikea for the very first time, I always thought it would be funny to do a photo shoot in one of those little rooms and see how real it would look because they set them up to look so cute. You could almost mistake them for a hotel or an Airbnb. They really are that well decorated. They don't look like store displays at all. So here's the game plan. I got dressed up in hair, makeup, wardrobe, everything, and called over my trusted photographer, Ali Amadeo. We're going to go into Ikea together and see how many pictures we can take in the little furniture displays, either before we get kicked out or before it gets a little too awkward for our own good. And we're going to try and vlog it the entire time. And as soon as we walked in, there it was, the perfect first display. As soon as we got started, it definitely got awkward because the other customers were taking notice, all right? Let me see it, let me see it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> These are beautiful. These are good. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so good. And we finally got the first shot in Bali, <coughs> Ikea. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We've done it. We've done it. <laughs> damn convincing. But if you look closely, you might be able to tell in the reflection of the mirror, something's uh, kind of off here. But hopefully no one sees that. So we moved on to a few other locations. And now I can't lie to you guys, I'm usually pretty good at doing photo shoots in public, but stores, it gets really nerve wracking. It's super awkward. There's other customers staring at you, wondering what you're doing. You're trying to like avoid interrupting people's shopping experience. I hope you guys don't mind. We're doing a little photo shoot right now. No, you're not in the way. You're not in the way. Pretend we're not even here. But most of all, you just don't want to get caught by anyone that works there. That's the golden rule of shooting in stores. Don't get caught or else you will get kicked out. Did we get it? Dude, these are sick. Yeah. Oh my God, those are good. Now, as we were stopping at each one, I also got Instagram story footage. That way I can post on my Instagram story, like a video of the room as if I was actually there, just to make it seem a little more real. We gotta go to the bathtub. That's our spot, the bathtub. <laughs> How are they looking? <gasps> These are it. Eh, oh my God, I think we did get it. We got it. I think we got the shots. Now, by the time we got to the end of shooting in Ikea, we were definitely turning heads, okay? There was even like an Ikea worker that saw what we were doing and didn't really care. Okay. They look like I'm outside. They do. 
So we wrapped up our photo shoot at Ikea. We didn't really cause too much of a scene, didn't get kicked out, and went home to start photoshopping the final images. Now, I told Allie to intentionally leave in a few of the Ikea tags. If you look close at some of the images, you'll be able to see little Ikea things in there because I wanted to leave some Easter eggs in there for any of my followers that are a little too smart for this challenge. And now, it's time to go on vacation, baby. So my tactic today for posting this Ikea vacation is to upload Instagram stories first because it needs to be believable, okay? The timeline needs to be that I'm getting ready to get on the plane and then I'm on the plane and I'm landing at the airport. I literally took pictures and videos from the internet for this. I looked up hashtag Bali and I found it and used it. Now I know that's not right, but the point of this video is to show how easy it is to trick people people into thinking you're someone you're not. So for today's sake, we're doing it. And immediately people started buying it, especially my close friends. I actually had one of my friends that's been to Indonesia send me his actual Snapchats of his trip so that I could reuse them for my own. This is so messed up. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. And I was even super sneaky because if you remember from my last video, I mentioned that I got this new pink dress for a vacation that I was going on. I need to find a new dress because I'm going on a vacation tomorrow and I need to look cute. So for anyone that remembers me saying that, they're really going to believe this. So now that it finally looks like I'm in my Airbnb in Bali, I'm going to post the first round of photos on my Instagram and see what the comments say. You can totally tell in the second one if you look closely. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. The queen has arrived. Just adding the location, hashtag Bali. I'm about to post it, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. No one ever tells you how like nervous this makes you feel because I have such a close trust with my followers. I never want to break that trust. So this is really hard for me. Oh my God. <sighs> it's done. It's done. I guess the only thing to do now is, uh, is to wait. I will be back in a few minutes to report if people are buying my Ikea experience. So update, it's been 20 minutes and no one is questioning it at all. Everyone actually believes I'm in Bali right now. I'm in Bali too. She really out here living her best life. I mean, that's not a lie. It's just not the life that you think I'm living. Our Bali princess, the iconic pink yes dress. That's why this is super believable because you guys saw the last video where I said I was going on vacation. That wasn't a lie at all. I was going on vacation to Las Vegas and that's what I needed that dress for, not Bali. But it happened to work out for this lie. To be honest, I'm surprised people are falling for this when clearly if you look at the second picture and you zoom in, the Ikea tag, is there plain as day, but I think it's because I have a really good relationship with my followers. Like they are not expecting me to lie to them because they know I wouldn't do that. Since no one is falling for it yet, I'd say it's time for phase two. These ones are a little more questionable, especially in the first one. You can clearly tell if you look closely that there is an Ikea iPad in the background, along with a tag that if you zoom in far enough, you can actually tell it says Ikea. A little more conspicuous, and we're pairing it with the indoor-outdoor shots that I feel like people are gonna start catching on to now, okay? You look at this, are you kidding me? It's actually drywall behind me. That, that looks nothing like a patio. I don't know who I'm kidding. I think you can tell that these were not taken outside, okay? First of all, they look like they're taken at night when it's literally seven in the morning in Bali right now. But oh well, we're just gonna have to go with it. Let's just hope that no one notices. Tea isn't the only thing I drink and it's done. Okay, there's no going back now. I have to wait another few minutes and we'll be back to see what people are saying if they're still buying it. Ikea or Indonesia. And it has been another 10 minutes, okay? And people are still buying it. <laughs> I'm going to my comments and I just see heart eyes everywhere. With the exception of one extremely observant follower of mine, me analyzing Natalia's pics to see if there's any Photoshop. Now she could have said that for any number of reasons. It might not be because she thinks I'm in Ikea, but still someone's starting to catch on now because it's kind of out of character for me to post this much on Instagram. I normally post like once a 
week, twice a week at the most. So three times in one day is kind of a red flag to you guys. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like painfully obvious that I'm not in Bali. I'm not even posting any of the iconic Bali photos of me on the beach or in exotic locations and I'm getting away with it. That's insane. I can't believe you guys trust me that much. I really love you. I appreciate you for not putting me into question when maybe you should for today at least because this could be happening all the time. Like I'm starting to question everything and everyone right now, but we have to move on to phase three, the bathroom picks. And in my opinion, the most non-believable ones, it screams Ikea. We all recognize that bridge picture in the background. <clears throat> That's from Sweden, not Indonesia. My cousin just messaged me. Where should I travel to? Next, comment and maybe I will. And when I say maybe I will, what I really mean is I'll just run down to the Ashley furniture next. Yeah, it's it's done. And there's a toesy. Okay, let's give ourselves another few minutes to see what people are commenting. See if anyone notices that little, that little taggy boy. And we'll be right back. And we're back. And uh, no one is questioning it. Yeah. All of the comments are people asking me to come visit them in their home countries. Am I a jerk for doing this? I feel like a jerk. Why why do I feel like a bad person? This was supposed to be an experiment. Like I was kind of expecting someone to catch on, like at least one person call me out on the obvious Ikea tags, but apparently they weren't that obvious and no one did. And I just feel like I broke my trust with my followers. And all of the comments are nice. Like they're complimenting me on my dress and my makeup when I'm just a liar, a big fat liar that doesn't deserve amazing, wonderful followers that I have. The color of that eyeshadow makes me think of a peacock. Oh, Bali is my favorite place. Highly recommend getting some photos at the Sacred Monkey Forest Sanctuary. You know what, gentle wisp? I would love to get some pictures at the Sacred Monkey Forest Sanctuary, but I'm not really in Indonesia. I'm in Ikea. And no one even knew. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I got away with it. Yes, me, your girl NT, officially fooled all of you into thinking I actually traveled to a different country altogether when really I just went down the road to my favorite Swedish furniture store. This video isn't sponsored by Ikea, although I wish it was. I don't know what I was expecting to feel like a good person after this. I think this video has a lesson, doesn't it? It, ha it has a lesson. Don't trust everything you see on the internet. Sometimes people want to lie about who they are as a person, and it's not hard to do apparently. So I have to say, this prank on my Instagram followers pretending to be in Bali when I was actually in Ikea was a success. Comment down below if you could have guessed that these weren't actually in a foreign country, and if you're able to pick out all of the different Easter eggs that I left in the photos, leave those down below as well. And shout out to my photographer, Ali Amadeo, for helping me out with this challenge. You guys are gonna be seeing more of her because I'm gonna keep doing these photo shoot challenge videos. But most of all, follow me on my Instagram and DM me one of the Easter eggs and the Ikea photos if you can find them and I will follow you back. And you'll be in the loop for the next time that I decide to prank my Instagram followers. But I love you guys. You guys trust me so much. Thank you. I'm glad that I have such a close, tight-knit community and relationship with y'all. I promise I would never lie to you unless it was for a video for your own entertainment, okay? It's for your own good. But if you'd like to see more of these videos, give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I will leave a playlist of more videos right here so you can entertain yourself for hours. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching Indonesia or Ikea. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed, but most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, Beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye. Don't trust anyone. But the real question is, why is no one wondering why I'm traveling right now? Isn't coronavirus like a huge problem? Like, isn't that why a lot of airports are shut down? Is that a thing? Or just no one cares about me that much? A few moments later. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>